Hey, good morning guys. Just want to do an update on our sun gold system. I'll show you there's clouds in the sky. The sun's up. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. It's probably 50 degrees out here. Yeah, 55 degrees out here in the northwest. Um, I just want to show you an update on our system. I've got five um, walking at heaters going in the house. And I just wanted to show you what our system's putting out here. So um, obviously I have I have um, 30 panels up on the roof, all wired in series, parallel, blah, blah. They all come into these charge controllers. So right now the house um, system is putting out about 90 amps of DC power charging these batteries. And out of the batteries feeding the house, feeding this inverter, I got basically 88, 89 amps um, to run all those wall cadet heaters. The system is at only 27% of what this can do. This is an 18,000 watt inverter, sudden gold inverter. It just works thumbs up on it. It's just a great inverter. Um, when you're building the system, guys, the most important thing is make sure you get an inverter that's big enough to run everything you want to run, obviously. But most importantly, I would say, is on these charge controllers, do not overload them. So know what the, the specs are on each one of those and build your 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 um, your panel arrays accordingly to what these can handle. So your voltage, um, your amperage, you know, all that stuff. Just don't overload these and they'll never overheat and you won't have a problem. And always put fireboard behind, okay? So basically, they come out of my panels, feed those, come into these bus bars, into the breaker, into the chargers for these batteries, and then out of the batteries, off these bus bars on the side of the battery, come up to the input of the charge controller. So on our system, we come out of this inverter, we feed into this panel, and in this panel, I have everything in this panel except our oven, our dryer, because we run that at night, usually. Um, the oven burns a lot of amps, so we don't use that because my wife bakes a lot. Um, and then I have two wall cadet heaters that are not on this, that are in the living room because we have a pellet stove that uses it. So this is our PG panel. And really, the, like I said, the only thing in there is those things I just talked about. Then I have a 100 watt or 100 amp breaker that feeds out of this into this system here, into the inverter. Because this has an onboard charger for these batteries. So if my solar doesn't produce enough power, PG, our commercial power, will kick in and charge these batteries. Okay. On mine, there's a little dial up here that I turned down. So it puts out about, it can put out 100 amps. So it can fast charge these batteries. But I put it at like 30 or 35 amps, I think. So basically, it'll start, and it'll start charging these at night if, you know, if the sun doesn't have enough juice to power, you know, or we use too much power at night, this will kick in and start charging these at 30, 35 per, uh, amps per, per. And I did that so that basically it gives it time for the sun to come up and kick in the solar panels and start charging this instead of using all the commercial power to charge these batteries if there, you know, happens to be cloud in the morning or something, a little uh, burn off that needs to happen. Anyway, guys, sun gold. The system is it's just a great system. I've only had one little issue with it, which was one of these batteries. The BMC, there was a, something inside there that wasn't quite plugged in all the way, so it was giving me some errors. Tech support said, yeah, just go ahead and open it up and check it, and I did, and had a loose wire. I made a video on that. You can find it in our, in our, in our videos. So there, it just kicked in, so something must have just kicked in. It kicked up to 31%. She so was drawn now. Right now it's drawing 101 amps, and the solar array is putting out actually 121, 20, 130, 140, 150 is what the solar array is actually producing, 174 amps. So I'm still producing more power out of those batteries, or uh, for the batteries. I'm producing more power out of the solar right now than the house is using, and it's, like I said, it just kicked into 32% capacity of this 18,000 watt inverter. Um, like I said, 30 550 watt panels up on the roof. It's October and they're set at just summer. I mean, they're just set at on a 512 pitch roof, so they're not even close to the 45 degrees that they're supposed to be at to catch the best 
the best uh, sun array. Um, I don't remember what that angle is for uh, 512, but it's they need to be like <laughs> they need to be lifted like 18 inches higher on the top end to to match what is the spec what they say is supposed to be the best um, angle for the northwest. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Have a great day.